Welcome to the Unit Circle Survival Guide. In this video, we'll find the exact value of the cotangent of 11 pi over 4 using the Sark method. So here's our Sark method outlined, and you can see S-A-R-C. This is just to help us keep all of our steps organized and to ensure we get an accurate final answer. So S will sketch the angles terminal side. A will use ASTC to decide which trig functions are positive in each quadrant, and thus if our exact value should be positive or negative for its final answer. R for the reference triangle, so we'll find the reference angle, the special right triangle, and coordinates that pair with it. And then C will calculate our trig ratio. So we're going to do this for the cotangent of 11 pi over 4. Looking at this angle, notice that it is more than one rotation around a unit circle, um, so it's greater than 2 pi. In order to do our first step where we sketch our angles terminal side, it's going to be helpful to find an angle that is coterminal to 11 pi over 4. And that means it shares the same terminal side, it's just less rotation to get there, so we'll be able to more easily sketch it. All right, so 2 pi is a full rotation in radians, so let's subtract that from 11 pi over 4. And let's go ahead and write 2 pi as 8 pi over 4, so that we have that common denominator. And we can see that 3 pi over 4 is coterminal to 11 pi over 4. So if we sketch the terminal side of 3 pi over 4, we'll have it for what we're actually looking for, for that 11 pi over 4. All right, so rotating counterclockwise, we have 0. And pi is a rotation halfway around. So let's count by quarters. We have 1 fourth pi, 2 fourths pi, 3 fourths pi. So 3 pi over 4, that terminal side will be right here in the second quadrant. Okay, now we can go ahead and decide, should our final answer for our exact value be positive or negative? And doing it now ensures that we won't have to calculate with any negative values um, when we're making this determination early to simplify things for ourselves later on. So ASTC is just an acronym. Think all students take classes. And that acronym helps us know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So starting from quadrant one, all are positive. In quadrant two, sine and cosecant are positive. All the rest are negative. In quadrant three, it's tangent and cotangent that are positive. And in quadrant four, cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive. So we're in quadrant two, only sine and cosecant are going to be positive. Since we're trying to find the cotangent of our angle, our final answer will be negative. And let's go ahead and make note of that. Okay, so now we can work in the first quadrant. We're going to find our reference angle, and then we'll draw out our special right triangle and coordinates. So the reference angle is just the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. Okay, so we rotated 3 pi over 4 when we were doing that coterminal angle. If you rewrite pi as 4 pi over 4, I think that's really helpful so that you can easily see from 3 pi over 4 to 4 pi over 4 is just 1 pi over 4. Okay, so th that is the same thing as 45 degrees. So the special right triangle we're working with here in the first quadrant is a 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And the coordinates that go with that are square root of two over two for both the X and the Y. And now that we have our coordinates, we can go ahead and calculate the value for the cotangent. So the cotangent of an angle on the unit circle is simply the x-coordinate divided by the y-coordinate. I love working with the reference angle of 45 degrees and finding either the cotangent or the tangent um, because your answer is going to be positive one or negative one because you're dividing a value by itself. So writing it out, we see our x-coordinate is square root of 2 over 2 divided by our y-coordinate, which is also square root of 2 over 2. So we know that reduces to 1. We found that our final answer would be negative when we did our step 2. So the cotangent of 11 pi over 4 is just going to be negative 1. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching the Sark method for exact values. Um, be sure to check out the links I'll post in the video description. There will be some to more examples of worked out exact values. And there will also be a link to a playlist for help with any of the individual steps um, or skills that you use in those steps.